Castaways. It's so extreme. This whole thing is proper extreme. These two islands are at war with each go, other. Go, go. They're not enemies, though. They are enemies. Stop it! Oh, oh, my God, I can't watch! Every week, a new castaway arrives. Each tribe has three days to win over the new arrival. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? At the end of the week, the new castaway must choose which tribe they will join. After five months, the island with the most inhabitants will walk away with £70,000. <laughs> Shipwrecked. Battle of the Islands. Here in paradise, they'll do almost anything to win. It may look pretty, but it's not home, is it? Coming up... I wanted to know whether anyone would be up for the idea of uh, kidnapping Anna and holding her at ransom. Help me! <laughs> We've come to rescue Anna from your horrible island! So we prepared for the backlash. I'm not even trying to think about it, no. let it comes when it comes. I just think it's going to be mega. It's mm. going gonna, it's gonna to rock both islands. I've got to kind of deal with some rule breaks right here and right now. You know, after, after that, obviously this ain't going to be like a highlight for anybody. Last week on Shipwrecked. The Sharks and the Tigers had two new arrivals to impress. Oh my God! 22-year-old Anna Singleton, a promotions girl from Kent, and 23-year-old Rory Nugent, a bisexual radio newsreader from Dublin. I'm Katie, hi. At the beach party, Rory chose to be a tiger. Tigers. <laughs> Anna, join the Sharks. The Sharks? Yeah! <laughs> and Courtney, who'd been unhappy with the Tigers... What about you, Courtney? Yes, please. ...nominated himself to change islands. Sharks, you're like my family, you know what I mean? Like my people from home, you know what I mean? I'd be a fool to just let that slip. And the Sharks were thrilled to accept him. Mate, you know it. You're coming home, man. <laughs> Courtney's transfer puts the Sharks in the lead with 13 castaways to the Tigers' 12. And it was time for all 25 castaways to welcome the 17th new arrival. <laughs> A 19-year-old without the voice of an angel. I could possibly be lost inside this reality. This is just an example of my complicated simplicity. What? Ryan Lewis. An unemployed wannabe rapper from Cardiff. As long as you guys don't bite, it's all good. <laughs> Ryan headed off to spend his first three days with the Tigers, leaving New Sharks Anna and Courtney on their chosen island. Come on, come on. Morning, cheeky pops. Morning. It's morning. And the start of former shark Kevin's second week on Tiger Island. What happens if I cut your skin? Uh, <laughs> I bleed. <laughs> For new arrival Ryan, it's the first of his three days with the tribe. Come on, you want another way? Easy like tiger morning. Monday. Easy like tiger morning. Easy like tiger morning. Do you guys have like a native a native cry? Uh, like you know, to call gosh. each other from the other end of the island. <laughs> no, but I think we need one, don't we? Yeah. Alright, that's my input, man. That's, yeah, my, that's my new you input. Have to think of the native cry. You have um, to make it a good one though. <laughs> Something a bit tigery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's rubbish. That was pathetic, wasn't it? Yeah. That was my <laughs> tiger. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's a legend. I would say I'm unbelievably urban. I'm not really a countryside boy. 
I couldn't I couldn't do countryside. I really couldn't live outside of the city. I like I like busy life. I like I like uh, the sound of the cars going by. I like I don't know. I just busyness makes things seem like it's working. So me being here is like a fish flying. <laughs> it's just not right. As well as being Ryan's first day in paradise, it's also Rory's first day as a fully fledged tiger. Something Badu is particularly pleased about. So you have two today. My plans for today are a bit of exercise because this six pack is coming on a bit, but it's not yet visible. So what do you reckon to uh, the new uh, lovers in camp, Rory and Badu? Um, I think it's cool. I, I don't, it makes no difference, really, to the group, I don't think. I can see that there was a connection straight away. I remember as soon as Rory stepped foot on the island, he told me he, he liked the look of Badu, and Badu said that, that Rory versa. was his type. So I knew that something was going to happen. And then, I mean, and the fact that it's a gay couple as well, it, it's, no, it's, here, it's, it's no different to me. Just, I'm, used to, I'm used to that at home. I don't know. I don't know what it's like on the Isle of Man, but I know in my job and in London as well. Obviously, I'm pretty used to like you know gay flatmates, gay friends. Yeah. Gay, you know. Do you know what? There's, I wouldn't say there's a very big gay community at all on the Isle of Man. Right. You know. So I mean, I, I personally, I'm, I don't think I've got any gay mates. I can't think of any. Mhm. Mm Not for any particular reason. They're just. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, you know. So. I suppose you could say Badu's my like, my first gay mate, and he, yeah. you know, I'm not phased at all by it. It's his business, you know, and uh, yeah, I really like the lad, so who cares? He's a exactly. person, right? What he wants to do makes him happy. Fine by me. Hey! Having lost Courtney to the Sharks, the Tigers are trailing behind with 12 castaways to the Sharks' 13. So need to win Ryan this week to stay in the competition. One love, isn't it? Yeah. That's what they do, isn't it? <laughs> you and the wife. Yeah. Let's go do the tour. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Remember the line. Yeah. So 23-year-old West London plumber Crawford's going all out to make the unemployed rapper feel at home. I, I feel like I was like born and bred West Six. <laughs> That's what I used to say as well. I was like West Six. <laughs> right. Let's go on this tour. Ain't gonna be no bore. <laughs> so that's the first time I've been speechless in a long time, man. Hey, where are we going? Yeah. He's not ready for it. He's only looking in the mirror. <laughs> let's go, let's, let's go do one. Let's go, go guys. Oh, Have a good time, guys. What a legend. We need somebody like him to lift us up, um, to have a joke, um, you know, remember how to laugh and how to have fun, really. <laughs> we don't get Ryan um, this week, then, you know, we can, you know, kiss the game goodbye, really. So how do you get into your laughing? How? Yeah. I don't, what I, what I attracted think you to it? How, why did you start? I think it's the best form of uh, music to express true emotion mm. and true power of words, you know? With most songs, like, uh, you know, your pop music, you've got your R&B, you know, they're all good types of music, but most people only remember the choruses, yeah? yeah. yeah. But with a, with a hip-hop song, you try and listen to every single word, because there's so much fitted inside the 16 bars of each mm. verse. When do you get into it? Four when? Years ago. Yeah. yeah, probably around, well, I got into it properly, probably around the age of 13. But started actually writing and everything, and actually mm. getting more into the dress sense and everything of it, more when I was like, 14, 15, something like that. Cool. So I've been writing it for around four was years it, now. Was it something that you just took to all your mates into it? Or? Oh man, it was something, I just heard it and I just thought, if, if I can express myself like these people who express yeah. themselves, not the ones who talk about the guns, yeah. who talk about the drugs and who talk about women being, uh, you know, whatever they call it, bitches yeah, 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 and whatever, yeah. you know? I don't really agree with that, man. I just prefer to use it to express yourself, as I said. I think it's the best form, man. So far, my time on Tiger Island isn't going too bad. I, I could say, you know, if uh, Shark Island wasn't in the mix, then I could, I could quite happily just carry on there. The island's absolutely beautiful and just everything, everything's great, you know? On Shark Island, the tribe are on a high. They're in the lead, and for the second week running, they've won a new arrival and poached a tiger. Last week it was Gareth, and yesterday, Courtney. 
let me tell you from now, I'm home. I am home. I'm back with my family, back with my boys, and we're just doing it, and it's just everything just feels good. Doesn't matter, rain, you can come down, you can come down on us, it doesn't matter, as long as I'm here and I'm right, I'm in the right place.